guys and thanks for stopping by my channel come here take this so if you don't know if you didn't see the video or whatever i'm getting a, another dog um so this is going to be a puppy haul from chewy this is my boy titus if you're not familiar he is a chihuahua um we're getting a mastiff the way <laughs> i personally really like tiny dogs but not like so small that they have health problems, you know, just like smallish. And I like giant dogs. I'm not really like that big of a fan of like the medium sized breeds. If you have a medium sized breed, don't get me wrong. I love all dogs. But personally, what I like is small and huge. <laughs> no in between. So we're getting a puppy. Uh, I don't know when this video is going up, but in order to prepare for the puppy, I started purchasing things. Plus I like shopping. Don't judge me, uh, but you really should like have things prepared before you bring your puppy home. When I'm filming this, the puppy is not ready to leave her mom yet, but she will be and I need to be prepared and I'm still not. But and we're gonna open these boxes that I have here and I'm gonna show you some of the things you should be getting when you have a puppy. I have three giant boxes from Chewy, let's do it. You guys, Titus is almost four years old. Next month is his birthday. He's gonna be four. I haven't had a puppy in four years. And he was kind of an easy puppy because he's small. <laughs> Mastiffs grow really fast physically. Mentally, giant breed dogs mature very slowly. So they can be in an adult sized body, but mentally still be like in puppy stage. They're a little bit more work, I think, in my opinion. Anyways. Let's show you what I got for Shadow, unless we change your name, but I'm pretty sure my husband is stuck on the name Shadow. Uh, so, this is a bed for her crate. I'm not going to show you her crate. We just put it up, but you can kind of get the idea. Now, I did not get a crate for her adult size. There's a couple reasons for that. But anyways, this is the size crate. This is the bed that's going to go in it. I got that on Chewy. It was on sale and the bed came free with it. Um, so I just got a crate for her for her potty training because we don't crate our dogs when they're adult. They have free range, free roam, whatever. But when she's a puppy and we're training her, she is going to be hopefully crate trained. Um, but the reason I didn't want to get the adult size is for one, they're very expensive. They're like three times the amount I spent on this cage. And for two, uh, uh, space issues. I live in a trailer, if you're not familiar with me, and there's not a lot of room for something like a giant, giant crate. So the crate that I got is probably half the size of what, uh, an adult Mastiff would fit into. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. <coughs> I'm a huge fan of natural things. Natural food, natural treats, natural things like that. Um, I also, these are also for Titus, although these are huge. So these are horns. These are good for chewing. Always want to monitor your dog when they're chewing until you know your dog. You know, like once you know how they chew and things like that, then you can trust them a little bit more. But as a puppy, you got to be like a hawk. You got to make sure that they don't accidentally like chip a giant chunk off or anything like that. With smaller dogs, that usually doesn't happen. But with a, a giant breed, you have to be careful. But these horns are pretty hard. And my dog Titus doesn't like chewing on things, but he loves horns for whatever reason. So I got one for him and I got one for the big girl that's coming. All right, got those. I bought some training treats. Titus doesn't eat treats, but this puppy probably will. And Mastiffs, the one that I used to have anyways, because I've had one before, are food motivated. Dogs are usually either food motivated or treat or uh, toy motivated. So whenever they do good, I'm, I'm all about positive reinforcement and not so much negative reinforcement. Like, uh, I think, I think a shock collar might be considered negative reinforcement. I'm not can't remember now, but I'm for positive reinforcement mainly. So uh, we did, we we're gonna do treats and you wanna do small, tiny treats. It, they don't, you don't wanna fatten them up 
they just want to be rewarded. So small trees. So I got these. These are pretty healthy. In my opinion, the first ingredient is duck. And then we got apples, carrots, whole ground potatoes, maple syrup, vegetable glycerin. I'm not seeing any red flags here. Some, some ingredients are huge red flags to me. I'm very weird about dog nutrition. If you guys ever have questions, please feel free to message me or email me. My email is usually always in the description box. Um, I'm more than happy to talk to you about it if you have any questions, but I don't want to fill up the whole video. So anyway, training treats. Then we got some antlers. This is another thing that my Chihuahua actually does chew on, one of the few things. These are great, these are long lasting. You always wanna make sure whatever you give your dog, like a, like a long-term hard treat, that it's longer than their snout. Cause if it's not, it could be a potential choking hazard. This is elk and these are split. See that, they're split. I don't like the whole ones. Uh, some dogs can chew through it to get to the, 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 the nice in, inner part. My Chihuahua cannot. I also do not expect a puppy to be able to get through that. So I like to buy split antlers. And these are also organic. These are naturally shed. So it, it doesn't, they don't kill the animal to get the antlers. They just pick up the antlers when they fall off. These are beef tripe. Yeah, <laughs> beef tripe stinks. Tripe is the inner lining of a stomach. So these are stinky and delicious. I don't know if, if Titus will eat these or not. But if he doesn't, we will definitely give these to Shadow. And um, I'm hoping to have some videos of her for you in the future. We're not done yet. No, no. Toys are very important, especially for puppies. I'm a very big fan of mental stimulation for dogs. Dogs are cute and everything, but they shouldn't just sit around in your house and do nothing all day. That's no life for anyone, really. This is a Jolly Ball, if you've never seen one. The ones without the handles, they often give them to lions and tigers at the zoo because they're about as indestructible as you can come to a toy. Mainly because they can't get their mouth around the ball, so they can't, they can't puncture it. I went with the one with the handle just so it's easier for me to grab, <laughs> but also for the puppy too. And we'll see how she does with this. This is a large Jolly Ball, but it's not the biggest one they make. They make much larger ones. I went a little bit on the conservative side with this one, but we'll see if she likes it or not. Every dog has their own preferences. Not every dog is the same. They're individuals just like we are. Next, I got this. And see, if he's noticing a theme here, it's about keeping the dog busy um, because puppies will get into trouble if you let them. <laughs> So this is a chewable nylon toy. I'm not a big fan of nylon toys and I actually thought this was a, this was edible, but it's not. This is, it's for dogs up to 60 pounds. So once she gets up there, we're gonna have to, she'll get through it. She'll probably chew this up before then, but you always wanna make sure that you're giving them the proper, the proper size treats and toys for the dog until you know your dog. Cause I know that there are some dogs that are huge that love those little tiny toys and they're so very delicate and gentle with them. And then there are other dogs that will swallow them. So, you know, use your discretion whenever you're dealing with your own dog. Next, I got this. I thought this was a cool thing. So this is a toy and there's a treat inside. So they kind of like gnaw on it, right? So they can get to this and it is textured too. So it also massages the gums as well. And it is refillable. So once they kind of chew that out, you can get more. This is called the Everlasting Treat Bento Ball, and it is by Starmark. They also make other toys and treats where there are different sizes, different shapes and things. I'm just gonna try this one and see how it goes. Next, I got these puppy teething rings, and uh, Titus did get these when he was a puppy. He wasn't a big fan. He's never really been a big fan of chewing or treats, uh, but I don't know this new dog. So I got these for when she comes home in the beginning. These are just for puppies teething. You know that teething stage where they're like little sharks and they've got little needle teeth? Yeah, that's for this that stage of her life. So this is gonna be used up pretty quickly, I think. But like with anything, you always wanna watch your dog and I'm definitely gonna be monitoring her with all of these things. I got a Kong. 
I'm a fan of these Kong toys because they're hollow and you can do a lot of things with these. Um, I like that it's pink too. Cause she's a girl. I hate that. I should have got her a black one. Anyways. Um, so this is the large size. I do think they make an extra large and stuff, but I just went with this one for now. See how she does with it. It's made out of rubber. And what's nice is you stick treats in there. You can do lots of things with these. You can take um, like low sodium chicken broth, fill this up in the container, stuff both ends with xylitol free peanut butter. Xylitol will kill your dog. I'm just telling you right now, do not use peanut butter if it has xylitol in it. It's like a sugar replacer. If you use regular peanut butter, you can stuff the edges and freeze it. And then in the summertime or in the crate or wherever, you have just made a dog popsicle and it gives the dog something to do and it lasts a while. Anyways, I'm off my uh, soapbox, but I figured I'd try this, see how she does with it. Oh, this is so small. I thought it was gonna be bigger. <laughs> Again, I don't think sometimes. So this is a tire biter. Well, this is the Kong version of the tire biter. This is a very heavy duty toy. I'm not saying it's indestructible. There's no such thing as an indestructible toy. But she can play with this as a puppy. When she gets older, this is probably going to be too small for her. This isn't a medium size, but they do make them larger if you're interested. And they are hollow inside too, so you could put like different kinds of treats and peanut butters and stuff in there as well if you want to keep them busy. Speaking of which, Kong makes these sprays kind of like cheese spray, like Easy Cheese, only it's for dogs. This is the, the puppy one, but they also make it for adults. They make them in different flavors and it's just like squeeze cheese. And you just put it, you can put it in all their different toys and stuff and they just lick it out. This actually has lactobacillus in it, um, which is a probiotic. So, you know, kind of healthy. Last thing in this box is just a flat toy. It's gonna be interesting to see what kind of toys she likes. And as a puppy, you always wanna give them different textures to play with, leather, plushies with stuffing without stuffing just to see it's also helps their brain just like when you give a baby teething toys and you give a human baby different tactile things same with dogs only instead of using their hands they use their mouth i guess human babies do that too but dogs only have a mouth they don't have hands so yes i'm trying to give her different things to play with to to motivate her mind and for her to learn the different things that are in this world. Does that make sense? I don't know. Tiffany, you've done too many videos today and you're losing it. All right, I got one more box to show you. This box is giant, so you're just gonna take my word for it. I don't feel like getting a hernia. All right, we got this giant tug toy. Isn't it huge? It's bigger than Titus. <laughs> I, I remember that my other Mastiff used to love to play tug, so I figured I would try this and see if she likes it. Titus use pee, uses pee pads. Yes, he pees in this house, I know, but it was really convenient because he doesn't like to go out in the winter time. So that's what we do with Titus. With the Mastiff, it's not gonna be quite the same. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I got pee pads anyways, cause I need them for Titus anyways. So I just got bigger ones this time. And you know, we'll see how training goes. If she pees on them in the house, we'll just bring them outside so she connects the scent to going outside. Here's another toy, different textures as you can see. It's a squeaky toy. Titus, not for you, you have your own subscription box. Another toy, oh, I didn't realize this had things inside. Oh, this has a, this is a pig and it has things inside and it's makes like a crunching noise. The only thing I'm concerned about with this, because I bought them all online, so I couldn't really touch them. There's a rattle inside. So you have to be careful that they don't puncture this and eat the rattle, because it doesn't say what it's made for. So this might be as a puppy. If, she, if, she's, a, if she's an aggressive dog and she rips this open, we have to take it away from her. That'll be interesting. And then we got this too. This is a squeak from Kong. This is a Wubba. I think this is waterproof um, and it is a, the fabric and it is good for outdoor play as well because it's easily rinsed off and stuff. One of the more important things that I did purchase, although toys and treats are important, this is also very important when you have a puppy 
This is by Nature's Miracle, one of my favorite brands for urine removal. Trust me, I've worked in pet stores. They're not all equal. This one has a certain enzyme that they keep a secret that works to help remove odor. And that's very important when you're potty training because dogs, we're very visual as human beings. Dogs have vision, but they're more, Titus is moving the camera. They're more uh, scent oriented. So if they smell a spot that smells like pee, their brain says, this is the toilet. So this, if she makes an accident, which she will, I'm not even gonna lie to myself, I know she will. Uh, this is gonna help de de deodorize, unodorize. It's gonna take the odor away. And this is important, so important when you're house training. So um, I really highly recommend Nature's Miracle if that's what you're in the market of getting a dog or whatever. This works wonders. I got her a water dish. Um, as far as feeding her, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing yet. I think I wanna go raw, but we're gonna see how it goes. But she definitely needs a water dish and they have huge faces. So she's gonna need a huge opening. Now this isn't as deep as I would have liked, but it is large and I will probably end up buying more. You know. Titus, no. And I like stainless steel over plastic every day. If you have a choice, stainless steel is way better because plastic over time will harbor bacteria, whereas stainless steel can be washed and, and uh, sterilized. Also has a non-skid, cause like she's gonna be clumsy, we know this. And also sometimes they just are as a breed, like no hate towards massifs, I love them, but they're kind of clumsy sometimes, so yeah. And then the last things are more treats for training. It's good to have different treats. After a while, the dog will get bored of the same old, same old. So you want to like mix it up a little. You want high value treats when you're training. You can have the I love you treats just to give them treats when you want to love them. Not too many. But for training, you want the stinkier, meatier ones that they really like, that they only get when they're learning. And you want to mix it up. So I just got these ones. And the last thing is just a toy and it's a possum. I just thought it was cute. So that's it. We got the crate, we got the, the pee stuff, we got the pee pads, we got the water dish, and we got a plethora of toys and treats. It's a long video. I'm sorry if you're bored, uh, you know. Oh, and, and this too. I got this because Ty Titus actually has one of these. It's behind me. It's really dirty though. I need to wash it. Um, but Titus loves lamb chop and I'm thinking maybe Shadow will too. Titus gets much smaller lamb chops. Shadow's gonna get a bigger one because she's a bigger girl. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, putting up with my weirdness, my randomness, my shenanigans. You never know what to expect on my channel, but it's always gonna be interesting, I think. And stay tuned. I will probably be posting puppy stuff if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.